Hey everybody, so I thought um, I would take this opportunity to tell you guys about some of um, my experience with pajamas for babies from newborns up to older babies. <laughs> As you can see, Sophie is out of her pajamas and she's not dressed yet, so I thought it was a good time to do it. I, however, am still in my pajamas, which are not cute. I've got shorts, fuzzy socks that don't match and a huge oversized long sleeve shirt. So that's why you're not seeing me right now. Okay guys, so uh, when I had Sophia and she was a newborn, she was really small and it was warm weather. So even though she was a newborn um, and they get really cold, usually like I could still let her sleep in a onesie and then swaddle her and that seemed to be okay um, however we started wanting to switch because she would constantly come out of her swaddle and then I was always worried about her getting cold she didn't stay swaddled up like some babies she would always um, pull her hands free constantly so that's when we invested in several of these okay so this is a sleep sack and it is closed at the bottom. I'm sh most of you guys probably know what this is or smart enough to figure it out. But anyway, um, and they're zipped up and then the zipper is covered here so it doesn't hurt the baby. And their um, sizing is very big. This style of sleep sack, the sizing is from uh, zero to nine months, which is really great. So we also had the Halo version. That's a popular brand for making a certain kind. Um, here it is. Theirs do come in specific sizes, so it's not zero to nine months. Theirs is an actual, you know, here's a newborn, for example. And theirs do not have sleeves on the arms. They're sleeve, you know, sleeveless. And they zip up and they're close to the bottom just like the other one. And then what you do is you have this over thing and you wrap them up in it. Well, um, what we discovered with this, which we thought, oh, what a great idea, is a great idea in theory, but what we discovered was that she still hated her arms being wrapped up. If your baby doesn't, they probably would like that. But she did. She'd constantly try to free her arms. And also, I think having her arms bundled up, sometimes she would get too hot. So, anyway, we always came back to these. We have, um, I think, three or four of them, and we just cycled them through. And she would sleep in this every night. And this is when she was just young enough to where I didn't quite feel comfortable letting her have a blanket yet. And we loved them. Um, it worked out really well. The sleeves were too long when she was a newborn, but I'd usually leave them long anyway because it kept her hands warm. And it was great. So, yeah, I loved, loved, loved these things. All right, so now as Sophie's gotten older um, and she sleeps with a blanket and there's no worry about suffocation or anything, she's completely capable of handling a blanket and pulling it away. Um, that we switched her pajamas and for us when Sophie was starting getting older it was cold so footy pajamas were a must and so I love footy pajamas um, not just because they're adorable but they really did keep her warm if she kicked out of the blanket and they were just a really good easy kind of all-encompassing pajama for a baby um, especially an active you know rolling around baby so um, this one here I liked because it wasn't as hot as fleece. Sometimes the fleece would be too hot, but sometimes just the basic cotton, uh, straight cotton, wouldn't quite keep her warm enough. And this one's kind of like um, a thermal material. So I really liked that a lot. But anyway, basically, we had a whole thing of uh, footy pajamas. We still do here. Um, lots of footy pajamas. And so that's what she sleeps in. That's her, her pajamas. Footy pajamas, yay. So now it's starting to get warmer, so we're switching her to onesies to sleep in. Because I do live in um, kind of South Texas, so it's warmer here. And anyway, um, so here's a, this, this little onesie here, um, she never wears it out. This is like literally, I, it's for sleeping. Um, it's, she's really, she's really comfortable in it, and you know, we still put the blanket on her, but she doesn't get as hot. And that's what she sleeps in. Not like this style. They are super adorable. They've got the little bird that you guys know I love. And 
It's a little shirt. These little, like, they're not high waters. They're, like, capri pants or something. I don't know. Anyway, the reason I did not like these is because the shirts would roll up a lot while she was sleeping. It would get all rolled up and... I don't know. I just thought it looked uncomfortable. They ended up just being more of a hassle than it was worth. If I put her in her pajamas right before bed and then she still had a little bit of playtime, you know, any, it's like soon, she, like she did anything and the shirt was just all over the place. So yeah, <laughs> not a fan of this style of pajamas. I love the look, absolutely adorable, but functionality was not a win for me. So kind of simple, easy, but this is what works for us. And then we've just transitioned. And like I said, you know, um, the, if it had been warmer when she kind of stopped needing the sleep sack, I probably would have just put her straight in one of these, but anyway, so yeah, so these are the pajamas that we like. Huh, Sophia? <laughs> I think that was a yes. Do you like your pajamas? Do you like your pajamas? You want, you want mommy to play with you? Okay. Okay, I better play with you then. Alright guys, well, duty calls, so I just wanted to share with you, like, the pajamas that we like to use. <laughs> Aww. And, um, yeah, so some people are asking me, like, baby essentials, and so, yeah, those are my sleeping essentials. So anyway, I better go, because I love her, and she's sad. Hi! Hi! You're not real sad, you just want attention sad, huh? But that you're gonna get it. You're gonna get some. Attention. Okay, guys, so anyway, I hope that was helpful, and I'm sure it's kind of straightforward. It's probably exactly what everybody else does, but yeah. All right, bye, guys.